If this shortcut to join clips works, it will change your life. Well, it'll change your editing life at least. I'll show you how to join and merge clips in Final Cut Pro with three different techniques and how to split and break apart clips. At the end of the video, I'll show you how to connect clips like a pro and how to edit them without headaches. Shall we? All right, so to join clips in Final Cut Pro, select the two clips you want to join and in the menu, go to trim and select join clips. Boom, they're back together. Sadly, there is no keyboard shortcut for this. You have to go to the file menu, trim, and then select join clips. Now, joining clips will only work for videos that come from the same media source. So I can't select this clip and then a whole different clip, this woman here, and then go trim. You'll notice join clips is grayed out. I can't do that. They have to come from the same media source. They also have to have the same start and end time. So let's undo that join and let's change the start time for this. I'm going to tweak that and I'm going to change the end time. So now the start and end times are different. If I select these two clips and go to trim, I can't join them. It's because the end of the first clip has to match up with the start of the next one. Okay. So there are some limitations. I can't join clips from different media sources or if the start and end times are off. But don't worry, I have a workaround for that that I'm gonna show you in a little bit. But first I wanna show you how to join audio clips. I've got this song in my timeline and I've got it split into two different sections. If I select both of them and then go up to trim, I can select join clips. And now it's all one audio clip together. But keep in mind, the start and end points have to match up like before. Does this video make sense? Are you ready to join clips together? Has it been helpful? If so, will you give it a like or a thumbs up so other people find this video? I'd sure appreciate it. And coming up in just a bit, I'll show you how to merge clips from different sources. So now that you know how to join clips, you might also want to know how to split clips. And there's a few different ways. The first one is the blade tool. I'll skim my playhead to where I want it to split. And if you don't see this red skimming playhead, just press S to turn it on. So now it's off. And then when I press S, it's back on. So I'll skim to where I want to cut or split the clip. And I'll just press Command B. And it will split this clip into two immediately. I can also skim to the spot that I want. And then I can press B to switch to the blade tool, and then I can split the clip wherever I want by clicking on it. I can also split a clip by inserting another clip into it. Let's go here and I want to add this clip in the middle of this one. So I'll select what I want to insert and then I'll put my playhead where I want it to insert and I will press W. It will insert that clip splitting the first one in two. I can also split a clip by cutting and pasting. I'll select this clip and press Command X. It's gone, it's cut it, but it's also added to my clipboard. I'll place my playhead, I'll skim to where I want to insert that and I'll press Command V to paste and it pastes that clip in, splitting this first one in half. Now let's look at joining or merging clips from different sources or different start and end times. So I have these three clips on here. They're obviously three different clips. I cannot select them and go trim, join. Oh, darn it. But I can turn them into a compound clip. I'll press Alt for Option G to turn them into a compound clip. I'll give it a name and then I'll press Enter or click on OK. Now, this is one giant clip with those different media clips in it. And I can treat this like a normal clip. I can trim its duration. I can move the clip around in my magnetic timeline. I can turn it into a connected clip and put it above my timeline. So this compound clip will be in your browser. Go to the browser and look for this section called no data, and then look for your compound clip. This is it. I can double click it right here in the browser and it opens it up and it's like its own little mini timeline. So see here are the three 
unique separate clips. I can change the compound clip by moving these around. Any changes I make to this compound clip will be reflected in any instance of that compound clip in a project. So if I click this arrow to go back to my project, you'll see that the compound clip has changed order to match what I just changed. You can break apart a compound clip too. Select your compound clip in the timeline and then go up to clip and select break apart clip items or press shift command G. And now we have our three separate clips that we can edit with. Another way to join clips is to lift it from the storyline. So I'll select these two clips and then I'll right click on it and select lift from storyline or I'll just use the keyboard shortcut, which is option command up arrow. There we go. It lifts these two clips up above the timeline and puts a gap clip below them. And you'll notice it also puts it into this little container called a storyline. Now I can move this storyline around like a clip. And I can also then move these clips around within the storyline like it was in the timeline. I can also trim them and my storyline will automatically shrink to fit that. I can put it back down here to remove the storyline function. Now I can do the same thing with connected clips. Connected clips are those that are connected to the main timeline. And you can see there's a connection point right here and here. So I can select these and right click and select create storyline or just press command G to create a storyline. You can also create a storyline by holding down G as you click and drag a clip to touch another connected clip like so. And you can see it created a storyline. To break apart a storyline, you can drag and drop your clips back to the timeline or drag the entire storyline to the main timeline. Select the main storyline and press Shift Command G to break apart clip items. You can create storylines with audio as well and you do it the same way as you did with the video clips. When you're editing a project that has some connected clips, you might run into some problems. So I have this connected clip right here and you can see where it's connected here on the left-hand bottom corner. If I wanna change where it's connected, I can just command option click in a new place and you'll see the connection point has moved. I can move it back over to this side. Command option click. Now, if you try to move a clip that has a connected clip to it, the connected clip is gonna go with it, watch. I'm gonna move this over here and you see this top connected clip moved. I don't want it to move, I want it to stay here. So when I move it, I'll just hold down the tilde key and you'll see this little orange icon come up. Now, when I move this video clip, the top clip stayed in its position. Let's say I want this video clip to have different start and end times. So I'll press T and then I'll move the video clip to start later on or earlier. But there's a problem. Look, my top clip is moving with it. Ah, I don't want that to happen. So I'll just hold down the tilde key as I do the slip edit. And now I can select a new section of my video to be in this clip and the top did not move. If I wanna delete this bottom clip, it's gonna take this top one with it, watch. But I don't want that to happen. So what I can do is hold down tilde when I press delete and it will keep the clip here on top, delete the first one and then move the magnetic timeline in to fill where the other clip was. I love editing in the magnetic timeline and these tips and tricks make it even more magical. There are a ton of ways to edit and cut footage in Final Cut Pro, and I compiled the 15 best editing keyboard shortcuts. Check it out here. Come on, you're gonna love it, I promise.